Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good afternoon, everyone. Today we will focus to solve these two questions, uh, both of them talking about proof. And at the same time, we will use some uh, tricks math. Let's go directly to the information. Here at this exam example, we have a semiconductor cell, uh, but from a sandwich uh, semiconductor cell. Like we're seeing here, we have two terminals. Uh, the current go, uh, go directly to the positive terminal of the sandwich semiconductor. Uh, let's uh, try to prove the conductivity at dark. That means we don't have any photon, any light, any uh, light energy. Uh, this important note here, we're dealing with intrinsic semiconductor. That's mean the concentration of holes equal the concentration of electrons equal the intrinsic carrier concentration. Here, let's approve this equation. The conductivity at dark equal concentration of electron and uh, charge of electron dot mobility of uh, electrons. After that, let's calculate the conductivity at light. Let's start to solve this question in intrinsic n equal p equal n i in conductivity in total conductivity. That's mean the conductivity at the majority at the, maybe at the uh, at the electrons plus the uh, conductivity at holes. One of them will be majority and the other will be minority. That's not care. Uh, that's not important uh, at this question. But I say that just to be known. Uh, now let's go to calculate what that's mean, what that's equal the conductivity of electron. That's mean concentration of electron, electron charge dot mobility of electron, and conductivity of hole equal concentration of hole, electron uh, charge result dot the mobility of holes. Let's calculate all of them to be conductivity total equal NQE MN plus PQE mobility of hull. Like we're seeing here, we have uh, two common elements because here P equal N, because well, like I said before, we're dealing with intrinsic carrier, intrinsic semiconductor, because that we can put N, the concentration of electron and the electron charge, out the bracket and just calculate the mobility of hole with the electron together inside this bracket. Now let's try to calculate the mobility of hole by using what? By using the equation about the geometrical parameter. The geometrical parameter equal mobility. Uh, mobility of holes divided on mobility of electrons. By that, we can say mobility of holes equal geometric parameter dot mobility of electron. Let's put these results and instead mobility of hole and calculate all of that again. NQE equal dot uh, mobility of electron plus geometric parameter uh, parametrical or coefficient, we can say that uh, all of them have the same meaning, dot mobility of electron. Let's put mobility of electron outside will be one plus geometric parameter inside the packet. Now we know geometrical uh, parameter, it's small than one because that we can ignore it. The uh, total, uh, sorry, the total resistivity, conductivity here at dark will equal concentration of electron dot electron charge dot mobility of electron. But some different will be when we're dealing at light because here we will put another element. This element will be delta N. Delta N is the excess carrier are generated from light extension. That's mean, uh, and let's note that this is important information. Uh, delta N after the light excitation will be more than concentration of electron because that at the next 
example, when we will try to solve it, we will ignore it, ignore the end result because it's smaller than delta n. Let's go to solve question number two, another proof, let's prove it together. Here, the question is calculate the current, the photon current at pure semiconductor, or we can say prove the current photon current equal different potential divided on distance dot uh, electron charge dot mobility, drift mobility of electron, lifetime of electron, power, incoming power dot EPH, that mean uh, energy, photon energy dot the absorption coefficient. Let's work on this. Here we have a semiconductor cell has two terminals, positively and negatively. And here the independent power source, the current direction from positive, like here. Let's try to calculate the current photon current. We will use the last equation, the total or the generally the conductivity, photon conductivity equal concentration of electron plus uh, delta n, that's the excess carrier concentration from excitation light dot electron charge dot mobility, drift mobility of electron. Like I said before, we will ignore n and I say y. Now let's say uh, concentration, photon concentration equal delta N Q E drift mobility of electron. Now let's work to try to modify this equation more by calculate the result of delta N. We will use the generation rate. Generation rate equal uh, excess carrier concentration divided on lifetime. What that's mean the lifetime? Let's definition. It. Like we know we have uh, energy, uh, valence V, uh, EV, that's mean valence energy band and conduction band, energy band, at the up and at the bottom, uh, the, this will be the valence energy band. We have electron not activation at the valence band by use the relation, uh, reduction or uh, by using another power supply Volt, different voltage to activate this electron or by increase the temperature, this uh, electron will take opportunity to jump to the conduction band. This electron will be to simple time at this conduction band and after that will come back to the valence band and will give, it, will give us uh, thermal energy or light like lead. Let's come back to our uh, example. By this relation, we can say the excess carrier concentration equal generation rate of electron dot the lifetime of electron. Let's put equation number four instead of excess carrier concentration to be uh, conductivity, photon conductivity equal lifetime dot uh, generation rate of photon dot uh, electron charge dot drift mobility of electron. By Gauss law, here let's work on uh, generation photon generation rate equal flux photon flux one dot between two brackets one minus r r that's mean the refraction between two brackets one minus exponential minus absorption coefficient thickness divided on thickness. Let's let's say this. Uh, equation I, let's work to find the uh, flux, photon flux value. Photon flux value equal here, where is this, huh? Equal uh, incoming power, his unit is what divided on area, meter squared dot, electric photon, electric field. Let's put this result here incoming power divided on area dot electric field of photon. 
Like we said before, we were dealing with intrinsic carrier concentration. That's mean a uh, pure intrinsic carrier concentration. That's mean uh, maybe we can reach 100% efficiently. That's mean uh, the refraction will be zero and uh, all the current photon current will, uh, will equal the absorption. That means we don't lose any energy from the photon. Let's come back here. Like I said before, here one minus exponential minus uh, absorption coefficient dot thickness equal one minus coefficient uh, absorption coefficient dot thickness. Let's come back to write all of that here at the generation rate equation will be uh, incoming power divided on area dot uh, energy, photon energy dot coefficient, uh, absorption coefficient. This will be equation number six. After that, going directly to our important uh, equation, it was the, uh, we have two kinds of this uh, resistivity photon resistivity equal the lifetime dot the generation rate of photon dot uh, electron charge dot a drift mobility of electron. Let's put equation six instead of gen photon generation rate in equation five to be uh, the conductivity, photon conductivity equal lifetime dot uh, incoming power divided on area dot electric field of photon dot coefficient uh, absorption coefficient dot electron charge dot mobility drift mobility of electron. Now let's work on the uh, left side. Here the equal the conductivity of photon equal the different potential divided on distance dot i the current of photon by equation number eight we would kind of try we can calculate the photon current let's put it on the left side and calculate ipH here the current uh, the photon current equal the distance divided on different potential dot lifetime to the electron dot incoming power divided on area dot electron or photon dot the absorption coefficient dot electron charge mobility drift mobility of electron and this equation will be equation number eight uh, sorry number nine that's it our lecture today is done thank you about your patience you're listening let me stop my video.